Hello YouTube, this is Phantom Roy, and welcome to Mad Madness. In this tournament, it's win or go home and anything can happen. It's an NFC matchup today in Gillette Stadium, home of the Patriots, in Foxborough, Massachusetts. So who you got in this one? Let us know in the comments below before the game, and subscribe to follow the action as it happens. So without further ado, it's the Bucks, it's the Falcons, it's Mad Madness, and it's time to get going. This will be the last game of the first round. After this, every team playing from here on out has at least has a win under their belt. And Tampa Bay will be kicking away, which means they'll get the ball to start the second half. Atlanta's going to get the first chance to score right now, though. And the kick's fielded from the 6, and Hardy's going to bring it out for a good return. Out to the 33. So out comes Matt Ryan. Super Bowl losing quarterback. The man's got a lot of talent, and his resume doesn't truly show it. But any, at least 20 teams in the league would trade their quarterback for him. So, Ryan's going to come out under center, first play of the game. And he's going to fake the handoff, and he's going to throw deep down the field to start off and he's got Jones Julio Jones with a 39 yard reception to start off this game and the Falcons are coming out swinging play action fake just just a go route for Jones and he just he's got at least five steps on his defender So after that explosive play, Atlanta's already in field goal range. Ryan under center once again in the eye. We'll see if they actually decide to run. Delayed handoff. It's a fake. Ryan's going to throw again. And it's caught at the one. So two passes and they're already inches away from the goal line. Tampa Bay, they got to wake up. Yep, feet and bounds. Just under six to play in the first. And from the one... It's Coleman, who's got a touchdown. Touchdown, Falcons. Just a simple halfback run. And the play calling on that drive was just explosive. So just like that, it's going to be a 7-zip lead for the Falcons. Just a minute. And tw not even a minute, 20 seconds into this one. Shaw is going to hold. And the extra point's good. So, 7 0, just like that. What a way to start off Mad Madness for the Falcons. They've been waiting for quite a while now. After watching the Panthers sit up there after the season opener. They've been ready to play. And 
Tampa Bay will get a chance to answer here, down seven points. And they're going to take a knee. It's going to come out to the 25. So out comes Jameis Winston. And the jury's still out on him if he's going to be the man to lead this team going forward. Almost made the playoffs two years ago. And almost beat the Patriots week three, I want to say, this year. So some bright spots, but just um, uh, too many almosts. And I think what would really help Tampa Bay is if they bolstered their defense. Winston's a gunslinger, and he's going to feel the pressure even more if his defense can't get a stop. Just like on that previous drive, it's a fake for Winston. He's going to roll to his right, and he's got Mike Evans. So Winston gets a 24-yarder to respond on the first play. And the playmakers, the star players, are coming out to play in this one. Excellently thrown ball. Only he could catch that one. And under center, running formation for Winston and the offense. Falcons join Blitz. Martin, Doug Martin's got a big hole. He's gone. Doug Martin. 10, 5, touchdown. Bucks. 51 yards. And the extra point now to tie this one up. So there you go, 7-7. Seven, seven. The last couple games have been kind of really lacking in the scoring department, but right now we've got 14 points scored, and we're just not even three minutes into this game. So Atlanta's gonna chance gonna get a chance to take the lead again as Dirk Coder looks on from the sidelines. Let's see if Tampa Bay's defense learned a thing or two after that last drive. Kicks away. And caught at the five by Roberts. He's going to run it up. And he's got a decent return out to the 29, where Atlanta will go to work. So out comes Julio, who had a massive contribution on that last drive. So they called two play action fakes, and then they actually ran it with the fullback. See if their play calling can stick stick to their guns. I would expect to see a run here. Maybe to the outside, try and pop something big. We'll see. They are showing running formation. Ryan under center. Ryan's gonna throw. It's Sobert who is gonna get the first. First down. Falcons. So they showed the run, they went with the pass. Quick little dump off, and it's good for 10. See what they do here. Yeah, 
And Ryan in the shotgun. He's going to throw. Ryan throwing deep. And he missed his man. Just too long. He had a step, but couldn't connect. And here's the Falcons offense. We didn't have time to show them on that last drive. That took just a, under a minute and a half. Julio Jones, Tevin Coleman are the highlights of the offense. And Ryan in the shotgun. Three receivers. He's going to hand it to Freeman. First run of the game, and it's good for 11. So it just seems that almost everything's working now for the Falcons. And the blocking was perfect. He had a hole forever. He makes it almost 10, 10 yards before he gets touched. And if you can keep running lanes like that open for your running backs, you have nothing to sweat. So at the 50-yard line, under center is Ryan. Freeman running to his left. And it's going to be a gain of about two. And surprisingly... That's the first yard for that only two yards. And here's the Bucks defense. The squad could definitely use some improvement, and they tried to make some amends with the signing of TJ Ward from the Broncos, but it hasn't really worked. Let's see if they can figure something out to get past the Falcons in this one. As the Falcons come out, showing another running formation. Under center's Ryan. Ryan hands to Coleman, who's blown up in the backfield. And that's the first negative play of this game. And the first third down. So we got to see what happens when there's good blocking up front. And now we see what happens when there's bad blocking. So third and long. This next play is going to fall on Ryan's shoulders. See if he can fire in and split the coverage. Three receivers to Ryan's right. He's in the shotgun. Ryan throws. Too long for his man. And that might have gone for a first down and much more if he could have connected. But instead, it's going to be fourth and 11. And Atlanta's going to punt after scoring a touchdown on the previous drive. And Dan Quinn's got to be a little bit disappointed. After getting a touchdown that quickly on that last drive, you want to repeat it. You don't want to settle for a punt. Matt Bosher with the punt. He's kicking it right out of bounds. And it's kind of a rough kick. Ball's going to be marked out at about the 32. So Tampa Bay is going to get a free 12 yards. Or 12 more yards than if he would have just kicked the touchback. And Winston coming out now for a chance to take the lead. Under center, running formation for the offense. Winston hands to Martin, who had a touchdown on his last carry, but that one only goes for three. And here's the Buccaneers offense. Definitely their strong side of the ball. Mike Evans, who seems to be picked up in fantasy in the early rounds almost every year. And four receivers for Winston, who's in the shotgun. Winston throws, hits Brait. Cameron Brait 
And he brings it up about for about a gain of five out to the 40-yard line, third and two upcoming. This will be their first third down attempt of the game. And the Falcons were unable to capitalize on their third down. Let's see if the Bucks can do better as they come out in the eye. It seems that they will. Winston, Winston's cadence is going to cause five yards. It's Grady Jarrett, number 97. So that penalty creates an automatic first down. And the Bucks survive third down for the first time in this game. And Winston under center. Winston to Martin, who's blown up in the backfield. Vic Beasley, who's the main star on the Falcons' defense. And that tackle for a loss is going to bring us to the end of the first. It seemed to be a, shot or a shootout, but right now it's going to be 7-7. back and set for the second and 13 which shouldn't be too big of an issue considering how both offenses have been able to move the ball in this one so far And running formation for the offense. Jamie Swinston. Hands to Martin. He's walloped. Ouch. Gain of two on the play. But that man, luckily there's no injuries on Madden. Otherwise, he'd probably be going to the sideline. No injuries in Madden Madness, I should say. And also, I should say that Winston, who's a 77 overall, got buffed to an 80 because every quarterback has at least an 80 rating. As Winston steps up in the pocket and throws. What a... Th what? No way. Can I see that one more time? <laughs> what? That's usually a pick six, but it's complete for a first down. He throws across his body, and the angle's there. I mean, the feet are down. So Bucks convert a third and 11 with one of the craziest throws you'll see in a long time. Dang. So under center, Winston, motion man is Auclair. Martin, and Martin pushes forward for a gain of about two. And second and eight, and these defenses have settled in a little bit after the initial touchdowns by each team. Just under 10 on the play clock as Winston comes out in an eye once again. Winston to Martin, who outruns a defender, and he gets about four. So third and four now, and the Bucks have had a third down on their last three sets of downs. Third and four upcoming. A little bit easier than third and 11. Just a little. It's worth mentioning, as Winston is under center, that the Bucks are in field goal range. And he's got Humphreys over the middle, who's got a first. But there is a flag down. Oh, and that's a costly penalty. Number 68, Joe Hawley with the hold. Wow. So they were 
in field goal range, but now they're going to take a step back, 410 to the 47, and they'll be lucky, lucky if they can just get back into field goal range. And Humphreys will be in the slot again. Bunch set of receivers to Winston's right. He's in the shotgun. Winston steps up in the pocket, throws on the run. He's got Jackson, Deshaun Jackson. So that's a first down. Winston has not missed a throw yet. 404. And maybe running, throwing on the run for him is what they need to do for the Bucks to win this game. And that play was good for a gain of about 25. And so they're in field goal range, but they're also in touchdown range. And we're just under halfway in the second. Four receivers for Winston. Who's going to fake the handoff roll to his right. Dodge some defenders, dodges one more, and is going to get about three on the scramble. And that's a good job by Winston. Finding the open hole wasn't easy. But using his legs, he was able to make a hole and run through it. So just under three to play as Winston comes out with four receivers. Winston to Martin. And Martin's going to push forward for a couple yards as that sets up a third and six. And the Bucks are 100% so far on third down, so they shouldn't be all too intimidated by the distance here, considering they also converted a third and 11 earlier in the game, even on this drive. And they have time where they don't have to snap this if they don't want to, if they don't like the look. Winston's in the shotgun. Winston. They will throw. And Sims will be taken down just short of the yard marker. It's going to be fourth and one, and... At the two-minute warning, Tampa Bay's going to have to settle for a field goal. So 7-7, Tampa Bay's field goal attempt after when we come back. From the 20-yard line comes the kick from Matt Bosher. Fitzpatrick holds, and the kick is good. So after falling down 7-0, Tampa Bay scored 10 unanswered. And this has the makings of a really good game. So Dan Quinn has to figure out a way to get his offense in the end zone and retake the lead before the end of the first half. And on the other side, Derek Coder has to figure out a way to get his defense to get another stop, force another punt. And the kick's going to sail over his head. And cause the touchback, so the ball's going to be spotted at the 25. And that's where Julio Jones here will march onto the field and begin his next set. Ryan comes out in the shotgun. Four receivers. Ryan's going to throw. Under pressure and sacked. Brought down at the 11. Smith, number 29. And the clock's running, and Atlanta just pretty much dug themselves a deep hole with that first play. 
And now they want to be careful here and they don't want to turn the ball over or give it up too early because now Tampa Bay has a chance to double up if they can get this stop. And Dirk Coder did figure out a way to get his defense together. Three receivers to Matt Ryan's left, one to his right in the shotgun. Ryan throws. It's Taylor Gabriel who pushes forward for a little more. It's enough for a first down, and Atlanta is going to hurry back to the line and try and keep this momentum going and save their timeouts. Ryan's going to fake the handoff. Surveys. Throws. Just a little bit too long for his man who's running a crossing route. So Atlanta should be pretty happy. They converted a second and 21. And because of that, they now have a pretty good shot at at least getting a field goal out of this. So second and 10 now for the offense. Ryan's going to throw, dump it immediately to Cooper, who's going to get a gain of about four before he falls out of bounds, setting up a third and six. And the Falcons have only had one third down attempt so far, but they failed to convert, so we'll see if they can convert here on their second attempt. Just over a minute left in the first half. Three receivers for Ryan, pretty balanced set. Ryan surveys, throws. It's Coleman over the middle, who's got a gain of about four, and Tampa Bay's going to take a timeout. They didn't get there, so Atlanta's going to be forced to punt. So Coder has to be pretty pleased with his defense after giving up that quick touchdown to start off the game. Haven't given up a point since. So Matt Bosher ready to punt it. Kick is away, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds at about the nine. So, excellent kick by Bosher. And this close to your own goal line. You don't want to take a sack. That is one thing you cannot afford. Because Atlanta has full timeouts. So, if they can get a sack here. You have to keep running plays. But Tampa Bay's looking beyond that. They want to get a score. I think a realistic expectation would be three points. Bunch set to Winston's left, who surveys the field. And he's going to throw. Steps into his own end zone and flag down as he dumps it off to Martin or a one-yard pickup if the play stands. Oh, so they're going to be marched backwards, so that's almost as bad as a sack. Now Tampa Bay, they've really got to just try and avoid this safety. And Atlanta's looking at its chops. Winston to Martin, who's got some daylight. Trucks the defender, and Martin's got a really good gainer. And that's going to keep the drive alive as there's a flag down. We'll see if the stands. So that's a pretty massive play there from the shadow of your own goal line. You get a big run and a 15-yard gainer on top of that. So just like that, Tampa Bay's on the 40-yard line. And with two timeouts, he could be looking touchdown. 
Not realistically. Well, good chance, but three points would be satisfactory. Stretch goal of the touchdown. That's where, the way I would look at it. You don't want to force anything, especially with Winston under, under center. Three receivers bounce set for the Bucks. Winston's going to throw and hit Humphreys over the middle and another flag down. Is this Atlanta once again? So another holding call on the offense. They're second in three plays. And that's going to set up first and 20. And Tampa Bay's got a decision here. They can try and force it. Or they can just be content to run once or twice and take the lead that they have in the halftime. Seems like they will throw as they have four receivers out. And Winston in the shotgun. Winston steps up and runs into his own man. So he's going to sack himself, essentially. Loss of three. So second and 23, and the clock's going to run. And I think that's going to be the end of Tampa Bay's attempt. And it will. So we're at halftime. Tampa Bay scored 10 unanswered after Falcons ha got the first touchdown. And we're going to skip this halftime here. And get right back to the action. Dan Quinn looking on. And after having a seven point lead, they're going to try and turn, make, turn this into a comeback. Kick is away. Caught at the one or so by Jackson, who's going to run it up. And he dodges two defenders, pulls through two more. And he's got a really good return out to the third. And out comes Tampa Bay. Winston trying to replicate what he could do in the first half. Hasn't th has not thrown a pick or an incompletion. Four receivers for Winston, who's in the shotgun. Winston fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, cuts up field, he's got the first and a bit more. Big hit, endured, but pretty good price for a 20-ish yard run. And they're out to the 43. And he knew it was man coverage. So nobody in the vicinity just turned it upfield. Keanu Neal with the hit. Huddle breaks, and we'll see what we got here. Winston's in the eye. Falcons showing pressure, but they will drop out into coverage, and Winston's being chased and sacked. Claiborne, who had that monstrous game against the Cowboys during the regular season, hits Winston for a big loss in this one. And so they're back into their own territory after the sack. Second and 19 now. In the eye is Winston. Winston hands to Martin on a delayed handoff, which goes nowhere. 
blowing up at the line of scrimmage, and we got a third and long coming up. Third and 19 now, as Winston will likely throw. Three receivers for Winston, who's in shotgun. Winston steps up, rolls to his left, throws. It's too long, incomplete, and that's his first incompletion of the game. So fourth and 19 now, and Tampa Bay's going to punt. I don't know if he was trying to hit the receiver or if he was just trying to throw it away and live another day because Tampa Bay's defense has stepped up. Anger angles it and it's kind of a rough kick. Atlanta's going to get an extra six yards. And they're going to come out now. Matt Ryan has been down like this before. And you got to think back to their last meeting with Tampa Bay in the regular season. And that game was closer than a lot of people expected. And it took an Atlanta surge late in the game to overcome that time. And you got a feeling that Unless they start scoring here and start racking up some yards and points, it's going to take another such effort. Ryan takes the handoff, rolls to his right. He's got time, throws deep down the field. It's too long. His man was open, but just overthrew him. And that might have gone the distance. Totally changing this game, but instead, it's just going to be a second down. And Atlanta's done that a couple times this game. Play action fake on the first play of the drive. And the man's been open most of the time, so we'll see on their next drive if they repeat. Dump off to Freeman, who catches it in stride, had to jump up for it. Lands down and gets a gain of about 9, closer to 10 than 9 as it's third and inches. And here comes the Falcons, who have not had a third down conversion yet in this game, despite scoring a touchdown. But it's third and inches, statistically the easiest third down to convert. Alone, and on an island to his left is a receiver, and Freeman gets the ball, and he's blown up in the backfield. And Atlanta's streak of third down failures continues. Just an extra man came free. He must not have seen him. Matt Ryan could have motioned over a guy to protect or something. But he just came free, and you can't let that happen in the NFL. That'll blow up your play no matter what team you're playing. Matt Bosher to punt once again. And kicks all the way to the 15 as Jackson spins around a defender before getting blasted. Flag down on the field. And it's TJ Ward, the ex Bronco. So that'll set them back and erase a lot of that run. So they'll start inside their own 20. At the 14. And Tampa Bay comes out and they've got a lead, but they've only got three points on the Falcons. So I'm wondering how conservative they're going to play this. Under centers, Winston in the eye. Takes the handoff, so they're not conservative at all. Hits Braid over the middle. Hughes got a game of about seven. Dan Quinn hoping his defense can get a stop here and get Atlanta's offense back on the field. Three receivers for Buck, or, uh, Winston. He fakes it to Martin. 
And Martin's got a first down, gain of about four on the play. And that's one thing Tampa Bay is dominating. They're dominating time possession. And that's pretty much the game plan you have to uh, endure if you're going to beat Matt Ryan. Keep the ball out of the offense's hands. Keep it in yours and get a lead and keep it. You can see with that play calling selection, 13 runs and only 7 passes. So under center is Winston. Hands it to Martin once again for the for the 14th run of the game. And it's a gain to about the 31, gain of 6 on first down. So second and four, Winston's going to come out in the running formation once again. But he's going to throw this time. Winston rolls to his right, cuts up field, and he's marching. He's running out past the 50. Takes another hit after, after a big run, 23 yards on the run. His second of 20 yards or more on the day. And Dan Quinn's got to figure out, he's got to set a spy out there. Because Winston's too good at realizing his man coverage and splitting but he's got to avoid hits like that he's got to slide that could turn into a very costly fumble and one more play after this until we get to the start of the fourth unless something crazy happens Hands to Martin, who's knocked down after a gain of about one. Second and long coming up. And unless Tampa Bay hurries to the lines, that will be the last play of the third quarter. Three receivers, and the clock's going to run out. Start of the fourth. End of the third. Tampa Bay is trying to bleed this one out. We'll see if they can after this. And we're back at the start of the fourth. Tampa Bay leads 10 to seven. They have the ball and they are in the driver's seat so far in this one. If they can continue to run the clock, and even if they could just get a field goal, it would be huge. But a touchdown might be enough to put this one away. We'll see what they do here. Four receivers. Winston, delayed handoff to Martin, who runs forward for a gain of about five. Third and four upcoming. Bucks have been three, four, five so far. 60%. This will be their sixth attempt. And just under six and a half to play. As they come out with a bunch set to Winston's right. And he's in the shotgun. Winston's going to throw. It's a screen. Hits it to Sims. And Sims should have just dropped it. Loss of about five. And the punt team will come on for Tampa Bay. And Sims, weirdly enough, ran towards the ball. He should have been running away from the ball. He might have gotten the first, but instead he runs toward the ball and just blows the play up himself. And if Tampa Bay loses, that might be the play that everyone thinks of. So here comes the punt from Brian Anger. He angles it. Perfectly, perfect kick. Kick sails out at the three. And the Bucks have a chance to score on the defensive side of the ball. Out comes Matt Ryan and Jones, who will be starting this drive from the inside of their own goal line. Or the, the shadow, I should say. 
and they've done a lot of play action fakes on the first play of the drive but if they do that here it could be a sack for a safety so they'll have to switch it up here for sure under centers Ryan it's a fake Ryan nearly throws a pick and I said they couldn't do it they did and it almost resulted in a pick so they're very lucky to come away with the ball still after that that would have been a pick six as well and it was in his hands and that's why their defensive backfielders and not wide receivers they're fast but they just can't catch so Ryan's got three in the backfield and he's gonna throw from his own goal line and he's taken down it's a safety so they flew too close to the fire by calling the pass twice in a row and it costs them Tampa Bay scores two points and they get the ball so Tampa Bay after not converting on that third down is able to score anyway and just pretty good coverage down the field yeah just nobody open coverage sack Julio came free at the end but, but by that time Ryan was already about to be driven down so huge play and Tampa Bay if they can get a even a, a field goal wouldn't give it wouldn't salt this one away but a touchdown might and here's the punt caught at the five by Humphreys who is driven down at the 25 so even though it was a punt it still resulted in the same uh, effect as if a touchback occurred and Martin's kind of cooled off even though he's gotten the ball plenty more since that first drive touchdown Don Terry Bo Poe looking to stop him We'll see if they can do just that. And under center is Winston. Showing pressure are the Falcons. Cross in motion. And run to the right. Martin gets hit in the backfield and survives the hit. And brings it back to the line. And that was a good job by him. They're going to call it a second and 11. But he's basically where he it was basically the same as an incompletion and he gets hit right there and that could be a loss of three but instead he stays up and forces a tackle and leans forward to get near even close to the uh, line of scrimmage so avoiding disaster Tampa Bay comes out again on second and eleven four receivers for Winston who is in the shotgun and he's going to throw. He's rolling to his right. Nearly picked. And that could have been devastating for Tampa Bay. Clyes Campbell with the deflection. Almost INT. So third and 11 for the Bucks. And they're three, four, six so far. So 50% on the day. Under center is Winston. Winston's going to throw here on third and 11. Rolls to his right. Winston's going to cut up field and slide down near the first down. And they're going to call it a first. I'm not so sure about that. I don't think the ball ever crossed that marker. Let's take a look. Rolls to his right, cuts up field near the sideline. I don't know about that. That was not the best angle. 
nevertheless, unless this once this play gets snapped, it'll be like it never happened. So Winston fakes the handoff again. He's stepping up, rolls to his right, throws on the run, incomplete. Had his man open, but just missed the throw. And it'll set up second and long once again. Under centers Winston. Single back set. And Martin gets a delayed handoff. And he runs it up for about a gain of two. So third and eight now. We'll see how conservative the Bucks are so far. They've been kind of conservative as this game's gotten towards the end. Though it is still a one possession game. If they're too conservative, Atlanta can still win this ball game. Winston to throw. And he's going to step up in the pocket and throw on the run. Misses his man flagged down. I think he was on the wrong side of the line of scrimmage. And that's a huge mistake by Winston. Absolutely terrible mistake. He could have ran for the first. But instead he threw tries to force a throw across his body to a, a man that really was open technically but not easy to get the ball to so now fourth and eight Tampa Bay is going to have to punt and Atlanta is going to have the ball possibly for the last time in this game and Brian Anger gets ready to punt kicks away and he hits Roberts at the 11. He's smacked down immediately after a gain of maybe one or two. And so Atlanta controls its own destiny as they come out onto the field. Seven to 12 ball game. So if Atlanta can punch it in the end zone here, they can win this game and move on to the next round. This this has been quite a good game. For, to end the first round on I must say the winner of this game will play the Panthers in round two so three receivers for Ryan in a balanced formation he's going to throw surveys he's got time it's Sanu Mohamed Sanu his first catch of the game and it's enough for a first down just a simple curl route it was actually a second but it's been so long it feels like he hasn't even been in this game at all. So this will take us to the two minute warning. And Atlanta, this will be do or die here. They're down seven to 12, but they have the ball. Two minutes. And so, coming to the end of this one, not really a chance to make overtime, so this will be it. Falcons have not converted yet on third down, but they're only down five. Four receivers for Ryan, who's in the shotgun. Takes the handoff. Ryan, pressured, throws, incomplete. Over the middle, tried to hit his man, but too far. And the clock will stop at 1 minute 57 seconds. Ryan under center. Delayed handoff to Freeman, who has a decent game. Out to the 29, and here comes a third down for the Falcons. They're hurrying back to the line. We'll see if they can get a first down on third down. They have not been able to do so all game. Oh, nearly 
completed to Hooper. But it falls incomplete and Atlanta fails on third down again. So it's decision time. Are you going to take a chance here on, and force the issue? Or are you going to punt the ball? And they're going to force the issue. Three receivers bounce set for Ryan. This is the game. Ryan throws over the middle. Deep. Incomplete. That's going to end it, folks. Minute 33 left, and the Falcons fail to convert on fourth down. And Tampa Bay is going to have the ball. Well, I guess there's still a technically a chance for the Falcons. If they can force a three and out and only give up a field goal, it'll only be an eight-point eight game. And great defense by Smith. That ball would have been caught by Julio Jones if not for the defender. And Winston comes out. And a touchdown wins it for him, but a field goal makes it pretty easy for Tampa Bay to win as well. Atlanta needs a three and out. Under center is Winston. Cross in motion. Martin blown up in the backfield. Timeout taken by Atlanta. Second and 11. So Atlanta is going to be stacking the box here, and if I'm Tampa Bay, I'm calling a screen pass. It's pretty conservative, pretty high success completion rate at least, and it can catch Atlanta off guard. But they're going to come out in the eye and try and run it here. Harden gets blown up again, but costs Atlanta a timeout. So third and ten for Tampa Bay. So third and ten now, Tampa Bay, they have a decision here. They can be conservative or they can go for the win. If they get this first down, they're going to win the game officially 100%. So we'll see what they do here. Winston's going to come out in a running formation. Audible. Hand it off to Sims, who doesn't get anything. It's not over yet. Minute 22 left as Atlanta forces the three and out. So Tampa Bay is going to get a fugal attempt on the other side of this timeout. Alright, we're back. And Tampa Bay is going to try and make this an eight-point game here. Very crucial stop by Atlanta. So after this, Atlanta's going to need a touchdown and a two-point conversion. But they'll need to drive down the field to make that happen here. And if they could block this field goal too, that would be huge. Nearly got the block, but the kick just barely makes it in. So Tampa Bay's going to get an eight-point lead with just under 80 ticks left in this game. And look at that. Just an inch off.
So Tampa Bay is going to try and complete the offset or the upset. Atlanta back to receive. Kicks away. Caught at the four by Roberts. He's going to run it up past the 25, and he's decked at the 28. Good job by him just to hold on to the ball. And here comes, out, here comes Atlanta, which could be the final drive of their Mad Madness career up to this point. And if they can somehow get eight points, we got overtime. Beginning of the end. Four receivers for Ryan. Ryan throws, and it's deflected. Jeez. That ball was deflected farther back than it was thrown, I think. That's bizarre. But the incompletion stops the clock. Just under 70 ticks now. Second and 10 for Atlanta. Showing man coverage. Ryan in the shotgun. Four receivers. Ryan surveys. And flag down as he's sacked. So will the sack stand? That's the question here. And that's a critical penalty. So third and just like that, it's third and 17. And Atlanta, who has failed to convert a single third down in this game, is going to have their fifth attempt here. And this will be the most important one of them all. Now it's third and 17, so you're in four down territory. You don't have to get this first down. You can get it close if you can hurry back to the line and get another playoff. Ryan surveys, throws deep, and he's got Jones! Jones with the big play. They're at the 33 just like that. And Falcons get their first third down conversion of the game. And Ryan spikes it with 44 seconds left. And now they got some time now to figure out this next play. So it was looking pretty grim for Atlanta there for the past four or five minutes or so. It's only gotten darker until that reception by Jones. And what a catch by Jones. That was something that they've struggled with all year long, connecting in these clutch situations. Ryan surveys, throws. He's got Hooper, and Hooper takes it out to the 10, and it's goal to go. They're rushing back to the line to spike it. So last game of round one, it's going to come down to this. Second and goal, eight points down. Who's going to step up? Three receivers. Ryan surveys. And he's taken down from behind. It's a sack. Robert Ayers. And Ryan's going to take an spike here and this is going to hurry to the last play of the game possibly so fourth and goal they had one clutch play less than 30 seconds ago can they get another for the game Ryan's in the shotgun. He's going to throw. Ryan 
throws for the end zone. Incomplete. But there's a flag down. There's a flag down in the end zone. I think it was P.I. Wow. Josh Robinson. Game was over. But he had the P.I. And so there's going to be one more play. It's going to make it first and goal. Seven seconds left. Well, it doesn't have to be just one play. You can get two plays off now. So the Falcons have been on the edge for seemingly forever as they line up three receivers. Ryan to force overtime. Three seconds. And touchdown. Touchdown. To Toliolo. And the Falcons are one play away from tying this ball game. All right, this is the game. Once again, I think I've said this a million times, but four receivers for the game. Ryan. It's caught. Two-point conversion. It's a tied ball game. They had to have everything go right. And it did. And this is the last game of the first round, but it's the best. I'll tell you that right now. So... Now we're going to go to overtime. Wow. Kicks away. And it's going to sail out. And I would expect Tampa Bay to just take a knee here. So Atlanta gets a touchdown to start off the game and they get a touchdown at the end of regulation but who's going to get the final touchdown that's the question under center is Winston they're going to actually run a play here Winston's going to hand it to Martin and Martin's going to be taken down after a gain of seven. And we're at overtime. Fifteen, fifteen. Atlanta trying to lead the amazing comeback. So here we are, overtime. First team to score a touchdown wins. If the first team to get the ball only scores a field goal the other team will get a chance to match and if that happens it's it'll be the next score that wins the game so the Falcons will get the ball first and they control their own destiny Ball will sail over and we're at the 25. So Ryan comes out. And we'll see if Tampa Bay can overcome. Usually in these kinds of situations, it's the team that comes back that is able to win. But we'll see what Tampa Bay can do. Under center is Ryan, single back set. Ryan fakes the handoff. Surveys, he's got time. He's got time in the pocket all day. Throws deep, and he's got Hooper once again for a big gain. And they're near mid midfield. So 
So they're not conservative after making it tied at the end of the game. At the end of regulation, they want to get down the field and end this thing. So Ryan under center, single back set, Hooper in motion. Takes the handoff once again. Less time in the pocket, but he hits Gabriel, who's got another first. And they're on the edge of field goal range, just like that, after two plays. And this drive is reminiscent of that first drive of the game. Tampa Bay, after scoring 15 unanswered points, gave up eight points at basically the last play of the game. Under center is Ryan. Single back set, running formation, and it's a, it's a play action fake, and Ryan's got time. Oh, he tried to hit his man, but he sailed it too far out of bounds, incomplete. Ryan under center in a running formation once again. Hands it to Freeman up the gut and they're in field goal range. Third and five upcoming for the Falcons. And they converted their last attempt, but that was their first conversion of the game. Let's see if they figured something out here on third down. If they have to settle for a field goal here, remember, Tampa Bay will have a chance to match. Balance formation. Four receivers. Ryan. He sacked. Taken out of field goal range. What a clutch sack for Robert Ayers, who already has three sacks in this one and four tackles. He's having a heck of a game. And the Falcons fail on third down once again. So they'll be out of range, and they will have to settle for the punt. Well, the offense is still out there. They're just going to punt it. Matt Bosher trying to get this pin deep. Pinned deep. Bosher's kick sails to the end zone and it's out of bounds. 16 yards from it at the 16 yard line. So Tampa Bay is going to come out now. And they've been pretty conservative on their last couple drives. Let's see if they can come out here and play again. And since there was no score, the next score wins this game. Under center is Winston. Winston throws. Hits Eau Claire, who's going to get a first down. They're going to call it second and inches. So, so far so good. After the first play, say, Buck, say the Bucks. Just under four minutes in overtime. And since it's playoff football, there will be an infinite amount of overtimes until we have a winner. Under center is Winston. Takes the handoff. Winston. And he's decked. Sacked. Grady Jarrett. And this will be a record shattering 10th attempt on third down. Number 68 just couldn't hold him. So here we go, third and eight. Four 
four receivers for Winston. Winston's going to throw. And he dumps it off to Sims, who is not going to get there. So fourth and three now. They fail to convert. So that makes them only three for, three for ten on third down after starting three for three. So that's pretty rough. Now Atlanta's going to have a chance here to win this game if they can just get a field goal. Kicks away from Anger. And that's a big boot from one end zone to the other, it seems. Wow. The leg on that kid. So out comes Matt Ryan. Had a pretty terrible day, but pulled it together at the end of the fourth, where he threw for... Let's just say a lot of yardage. And a touchdown. And a two-point. So let's see if he can get back to that. Three receivers. Showing blitz. Ryan to Freeman. And Freeman's got a decent gain. Two, almost three yards. So maybe not decent, but not terrible. Audible at the line from Ryan. The first audible from the line that I've seen in Mad Madness. Hooper takes the handoff. Ryan, under pressure, dumps it off just as he's hit. Incomplete, and it's going to be third and eight for the Falcons as well. And these two teams are neck and neck, it seems. Neither can, they can score when the other scores, but they can't. I just, I don't know. This is the first game where I just don't know. Gabriel and his friends are in a bunch set to the left of Ryan, who's going to throw here. And it's intercepted by Smith. Wow. Smith just read the quarterback's eyes and the ball was thrown right to him. Broke on the route. Ryan Smith, he's going to get credit for this win if they can get this field goal. And no turnovers in this game. That was the first one. And it comes at a crucial time. Critical error by the Falcons after they worked so hard to come back. Just a crusher. So Winston, we'll see how much offense they elect to run here. And if we're the Fal if you're the Falcons, you're trying to get tackles for losses and sacks and turnovers. Martin, he's going to be taken down at the 18 as they inch closer. And Tampa Bay's going to take a timeout. I think they're just trying to set up the hash, and this kick could be for the for the game. So second and five for Winston. We'll see if they elect to just take the field goal from here. Or if they, they'll they try and get closer. Or maybe even try and score the touchdown. I wouldn't expect them to put it in the air anymore. They don't need to. They will kick it. And Atlanta will try and ice the kicker. Short kick, but we'll see if the ice worked after this. So Tampa Bay is going to come out and kick it once again. 
they were iced after he came out before the timeout. Just over a minute left in this period of overtime. And if for some reason he were to miss this and the clock would run down, we'll talk about that after this kick if need be. For the game. Kicks away. It's good. Tampa Bay wins. Atlanta had the W in its pocket, but Crusher intercept interception and just failure of offense throughout the game. Aside from that fourth quarter, great that that was one of the craziest drives I've seen in a long time. So we'll take a look at the bracket and round one's over. So you see here, Falcons and Panthers next. And so that's the end of round one. Keep your eyes peeled for a wrap up video where I'm going to be getting the highlights of all these games that we've played. and put them all in one spot so you guys can watch at your leisure so we're gonna end it there we we have a victor the, the Bucks will win 15 to 18 and they'll move on to round two so let us know was your prediction right tell us in the comments and if you want to see if the Bucks can make it all the way, be sure to subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. I enjoyed the video, I'll tell you that right now. And until next time, this is Phantom Roy saying 